What's going on YouTube? Here I have my everyday carry pouch. It's a Mystery Ranch tech holster, and I don't think it's used for EDC, but I liked how the pouch looks, so I bought one. It's about $40. Um, it says it's made out of durable uh, material. This is the what foliage color. I don't know exactly what that means. It does have this zipper that looks to be water resistant as two little side uh, tabs here I think you can attach a lanyard and it could be a, or a kind of a shoulder strap so that's pretty cool looks like you could uh, attach it to maybe a belt loop or a backpack so uh, one complaint I saw on here is that it doesn't fit phones very good in this pouch. Um, I think it barely fit my iPhone 13 Pro Max. And let's get into this video. I'm gonna show you all my EDC items and why I picked them. And we'll start here first with the flashlight. So in this front pocket, you may be able to fit three to two things depending on how big they are. I have a flashlight and a Leatherman. And here's the flashlight. So why I like this, it's rechargeable. I always like being able to recharge things and I feel like rechargeable things last longer. So it does have a belt clip or you can attach it to your t-shirt for a lamp. So it does have high, low, off, and then you can double tap and it's red flashing red, green, and blue. I believe that's the last color. So it's a lot of different functions in a small package. And I'll give the size of this thing. <clears throat> it's about a inch and a quarter and by three inches by three quarters. So it's a lot of flashlight in a small dimension. Also, it does come with a um, head uh, head lamp attachment. So that's pretty cool. And I got two of them for 20. I don't know how durable these things are, but it seems like a quality product. It's by Fiat Electric. So good product. I would definitely try it out if you haven't. And they're inexpensive. Here I have a Leatherman Free P2. I bought this at a pawn shop for $67 and it was basically new. So this is only about a week old, I believe. So it has your needle nose pliers, uh, what is this, a wire cutter, and they are replaceable. I'll go show you. So it, it feels like a quality product. So I do have the Skeletool. It's lightweight, but it doesn't feel quality. I wanted a quality multi-tool. So here's the blade, try to get you the length on this thing. It is two inches and three quarters. Here are some of the other things on this side. Everything feels good and smooth. I believe this is $130 brand new. So a screwdriver, flathead or pry bar. It is sharpened here, but not sharp. I guess that's a reamer. I don't, I don't know every specifics on this multi-tool. I probably should look into it more. It has 19 tools, it says. A pair of scissors, these work really good. They can cut zip ties and other things that other multi-tool scissors couldn't handle. File a bunch of different flatheads, another reamer and I believe a can opener. And it does have wire crimpers on the back side of it, which is kind of cool, but I would use the needle nose. But before I get into the pouch, let's go ahead and weigh this thing. I wanted to get this pouch near, or less than a pound. And I think I'm right over that. So let's go ahead and weigh this thing. Go ahead, throw this on top. So 
So it's one pound, four ounces. So that's not too bad. <clears throat> Get the scale out of here. Now into the main compartment. Now it's not the biggest pouch ever, but I did fit a lot of little things in here, which I like. And you can see it's somewhat organized. You have a pouch here and you can see the other contents inside. So I'll just start from one side and go to the next. Here I have three zip ties on the smaller end. I bought them from Amazon, a big multi-pack of them. Here I have a Milwaukee Sharpie. These are about $1.75. And I needed some writing utensils, so I could have put a pen in here, but I thought Sharpies can cover more ground and be a bolder you know, options. So here's a small Zippo, nothing fancy, have a zip tie so you can't depress it and it leak its gas. Then I have this Night Izzy, I don't know how to say it correctly, but it's meant for like a keychain or I just put it in here because you can oh, like flip it up or out and you can take your bit out and you can have a, let's get this in here. I don't know if I got too much dirt in it or not. So here's a Phillips one, I believe. Phillips two, but you could just rotate it to go either way. <clears throat> it has some different functions. I don't know everything. It has a little ruler on there. It has different hex sizes I believe a quarter and five sixteenths I don't really use those if I have to I'll go get the actual two tool has a pry bar on there this cost me about what fifteen dollars which I thought was kind of expensive but looks like all little things nowadays cost at least fifteen dollars I mean you can find some deals out there I try to not break the bank on this stuff so and I'm not sure how to get this back in there. There it goes. Kind of just slides. It does seem firm. This has been bouncing around in my pocket for a couple days now. Here I have the same company, a Night Izzy or IZ, and two uh, bobby pins on there. So next i have some medical stuff and it's butterfly closures and uh, there's about five here and i have bigger band-aids here and i think it's about five these are small and compact and you can have it on on your person at all times in case you get cut yourself like i'm all beat up on my hands and things like that i work construction so you fun fact about me a roll of duct tape some super glue some clear eyes now working in construction sometimes you get like sawdust and things in your eyes and you need to rinse out your eyes so I have that in there some medical gloves you can use them for whatever purpose if you ever have to go dumpster diving, you have something in your back pocket. And here is a notepad. <clears throat> so that is it for this pouch. I believe that is 11 items in total. But, you know, there's quite a bit of, you know, versatility with the things I have in here, which I really like. But thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you guys later.